Hi friends, welcome to Madhu's Creative Hub. Today we are going to see in this series the third video which is about Ganjifa art. Have you heard of this? At least I didn't until I created this. So I have taken a circular uh, cardboard. Uh, since it was thin, I have stuck two pieces on top. And I have taken this uh, brown wrapping paper from Amazon and put it on top so that it gives a neat finish. Now for the border, I am going to take a fevicryl uh, yellow paint and create a border and in the middle I am going to fill it with the uh, blue. While you watch that, uh, this came from 15th century uh, from Persia. So basically it's uh, it's a card game. Uh, so how it reached India, right? <laughs> and it has stayed in India for so long and here only it is like still existing I can say. Uh, so this game was popular in the Mughal court. Uh, they used to uh, make uh, the cards uh, with uh, the Shavataram or Navagraha or uh, Ashtadikpalaka. So all these characters they used to make uh, on on the uh, cards like the art form. So it would be either circular or uh, rectangle in shape. So I have taken this uh, Ganda Berunda which is a two headed bird which we also use it in our emblem which we believe is a part of uh, an avatar of Vishnu. So I have taken that because I got fascinated with that design. So I have taken that design. So I am going to color the entire bird with uh, white acrylic paint. So moving ahead, it's more famous in Karnataka, especially in Mysore. I am basically from Mysore, so I was very fascinated with this information. There are two people called Raghupati Bhatt and Sudha Venkatesh who is practicing this kanji art even now. And it's so intricate and so detailed that I just love the work. So nowadays they use it as art form and not as a card game. Uh, so how did it reach Mysore? It's like in the 19th century, the Maharaja of Mysore, Mumudi Krishna Raja Odier III, uh, who ruled uh, between uh, 1794 to 1868, was interested in this game and uh, he brought his uh, artisans to you know create their own creativity using this art form and he was uh, like uh, promoting it i can say so now uh, to uh, you know break the monotony i have used some red and green color here and then with the gold i am going to do the detailing okay i had drawn it on a sheet of paper so i showed it to you see how much of details it has and uh, those artists when they actually do it uh, it's so nice to watch because such small details they really do it so well I'm just adding gold color now uh, to the parts where I want to highlight it. Uh, since it's a very minute detailing, I'm going to use a micron pen to do the outlining. So the good thing about micron pen is it works on the paint as well. Uh, but you have to dry the entire art form before you do that. And then you can also add uh, varnish on top of that. It won't get smudged after it's dried completely. So that's the advantage of my crown pen. So wherever I wanted the cool detailing, I'm going to add it. You can make elephants, uh, bull and all these combination and then decorate your wall uh, if you have a traditional touch to your home. Uh, you can also keep this as a table decor or you can create it as a fridge magnet as well. Uh, as I've shown in my previous series, two of them, uh, you can use them in that form as well. So now I'm going to take the micron pen and try to outline it first. Uh, I have a little smaller tip one if you want a little broader tip you will also find them in Amazon so you can take any of them uh, so this is how it looks once it's detailed it's looking so pretty right like outside also like to fill the gaps I have added uh, some dotting uh, flowers so like this I'm going to just uh, add some more details so this work is all about details so I'm just adding it uh, so this also resembles a little bit of Patachetra but uh, the way they have uh, you know inculcated the characters is little different in Patachetra and when in our series we get to that I will just explain you about that as well. If you are liking our channel content please like share and subscribe. Just comment down if you like this series. So outside was look looking little plain so I am going to add some triangles outside and create a small smaller triangle inside so that you know it looks like a nice design and just to fill those gaps uh, you can anyway skip this step 
or you can skip any of these steps and do your own designs as well uh, this was mainly because i wanted to introduce this art form now uh, i am sure like many of you wouldn't have heard of this uh, so like this i'll complete the entire design We'll add this deco varnish to uh, coats after it's completely dried. So this is how the finished product looks. It looks so beautiful, right? You can also keep it on your table. It'll look nice. If you like our channel content, please like, share and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed watching this and this series will continue for some more time. I hope you are enjoying it. Thank you. Bye.